Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koobana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. Have you ever seen this video before? It's rather famous, and even I can recall seeing it many, many years ago when I was living in Japan. It was, for a period, rather popular on the Japanese internet, and to this day still doesn't really have an explanation. So this week, let's take a look at what's really going on here, and whether it's possible that what we're looking at was an actual ghost. First things first. The video opens on an Emma, which is a wooden votive tablet you can often find hanging in shrine grounds. People write their wishes on these tablets, and then hang them up in special areas where it's believed the Kamisama will receive them and the wish will be granted. On this particular Emma, we can see the words Masahiko, a name, followed by Shine in katakana. The most obvious meaning of this word is die, but the fact that it's written in katakana and not kanji makes it even more unsettling for a lot of people. If we take it at face value, then someone hung up this Emma hoping that Masahiko would die. Ouch. But that's not even the scary part here. As the camera pans over and zooms in on this creepy Emma, a face suddenly appears behind it, looking straight at the camera from a 90 degree angle. The camera immediately drops, films the ground for a few seconds, and when it pans back up, the face is gone. And that's it. That's the clip. It has been played and replayed numerous times over the years, on summer ghost specials on Japanese TV, and it instantly became a hit on the Japanese internet as well. You can generally find it by looking for Masahiko Shine, or Emma Mekuri, which roughly translates to votive tablet board. It's another popular term you shouldn't search for, but what's the real story behind this viral clip? First, there are a few things that can be determined from the video alone. The first is the location. When the camera pans to the ground, you can see numerous Emma with a unique design on them. This is the design of Meiji Shrine's votive tablets, indicating that this was filmed there. A quick Google search brings up numerous images of the area where these Emma are hung from, and you can see they surround a sacred tree in a closed hexagon shape, exactly the same as we see in the video. So this means that while it is technically possible to get on the other side of these tablets, it would be very difficult to do so, especially during the day at such a large shrine where numerous people would see someone trying to climb in on sacred ground. Because it would be difficult to get on the inside of the tablet hexagon, there was discussion across various bulletin boards that perhaps the person seen in the background wasn't actually a person, but rather a photograph instead. Meaning that someone stood to the side of the camera, stuck their arm through the gaps, and then thrust the photograph of a creepy face in front of the camera at just the right time. This would easily solve the problem, right? You don't need to climb over to get on the inside, and you don't need to walk around the shrine with creepy ghost makeup on either. But if we go through that revealing shot frame by frame, we can see that it's not a photograph, because the eyes move. At first, they're looking down, and then they look straight at the camera. The hair appears to move as the face comes in as well, meaning that it's unlikely to be a static photo. The person behind the tablets is moving. So if it's not a photo, what is it? The most obvious answer, of course, is that it's fake. The quality is not fantastic, which makes hiding imperfections a little easier. But if you watch the sudden appearance in slow motion again, look carefully. These wooden tablets aren't massively large and scale at roughly 10 centimeters or so in length, meaning the face behind it would be roughly the size of a baby's head, maybe a little larger. That's a pretty small ghost. 
The numerous strings holding the Emma up also seem to blur and fade into the head as it leans in. This could be explained away by the poor quality of the film, but it's also just as likely that this was unavoidable because the footage was doctored. The original footage was made by filming the Emma, featuring the swing down to the ground for a few seconds and then back up again, and then this was taken and edited on someone's computer to include the scary face in the background. This would easily explain the size of the head, the distortion of the strings, and how someone could apparently get on the other side of the tablets as well. Because they didn't. They were edited into the original film. There's also one more damning piece of evidence. The fact that this isn't some random internet video, but rather comes from the Honto Niata Noroi no Video series, volume 42 to be exact. This volume came out in 2011, and this particular video, or segment, was called Jagan, or Evil Wish. The Honto Niata series, of course, is a series that purports to be real videos sent in by viewers, which is true, but naturally they're all fake, and often badly so. People can get money for sending their videos in and getting chosen to be featured, so of course there is incentive to whip something up that looks scary, regardless of how realistic it looks. So this video has been floating around for over a decade now, and thanks to how brief it is, and the nature of the scare, it has been an enduring piece of viral internet history for a while now. It's easy to share with friends. It elicits great reactions on TV shows when aired in summer ghost specials, and it gets people talking on anonymous bulletin boards trying to figure out whether it's real or not. In that sense, the video was extremely successful. But is it a real ghost? Well, that's for you to decide, but it's highly unlikely. But what do you guys think? Have you seen this video before? Do you think that it truly captured a ghost on film, or was it just edited by someone to get that sweet Honto Niata money? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.